Hey there everyone, Hitesh here and welcome to another raw video. This is a special video and I would like to invite you, welcome you on to this video. Last time when I did kind of a raw video where I showed you that hey I bought a keyboard, this is my new keyboard that I bought it with my own money and I showed you the unboxing of it, what I feel about it, you guys loved it. Not only you guys loved it, a lot of other people also loved it. And people are now understanding that developers have a unique requirement for the things. They cannot just work with anything. Any keyboard is not good for developers. Any screen is not just good for developers. There is a special requirement for them. And a lot of people have started to understand this. And that's why our friend at BenQ have sent me this gigantic thing, which is a 32 inch monitor. Not any ordinary monitor, a monitor specially designed keeping developers in mind. And by the way, there is no obligation on me that I should be making this video. These guys said out, reached out to me that, Hey Tish, we loved your fun video on the keyboard. You are doing great for the community of developers, sharing so much of knowledge. So we would love to send you a gift. And that's all. You don't have to make any video or have to say any good words around it. So they just sent me out. And I thought, hey, we enjoyed the last video of the unboxing. So why can we do it one more time? Not only this, there's a smaller box here as well. So they send me out, hey, this is a surprise one. I don't know what's that inside the box, so we'll be just unboxing and finding it out. So this is another raw video where nothing is planned and we'll be seeing that how this entire 32 inch gigantic mammoth monitor is designed for developers. I'll be testing it out. That is going to be fun. That is why you're too far because this is big. Let me show you. Knife, can you see this? Yep, this is the home knife because in the real world and the regular unboxing, nobody uses fancy knife. Everybody just use the home cook knife. The same knife which cuts your tomatoes and potatoes and it's gonna unbox this one. Let's try this out and again, warning, this box is big. You'll see me struggling. Let's just catch this out. Ah, thank goodness I go to gym. Oh boy, this is big. I need to adjust my mic. This is big. This is really, really big. Uh, need to lay it down somehow, if we can do it. Yep. Whew, this makes sense. Uh, we have another box too. Uh, this one is light, so we'll try with this one because this one is actually light. So we'll go with this one. Let's try this. Let's open this one. This is funny. I wish I could show you. I can show you. This is how it looks like inside the box. It's almost empty. Too big box. Ah, that's light, I guess. I always wanted to have such light, but never thought that I'll be getting one. This is, this is big. I want to see how does that looks. It feels like almost having my birthday early, a little early this time. It's a fancy box. Paperwork, who is interested in paperwork? I really don't understand that when and why these, all these unboxing videos show the product at the last because I'm interested in the product, not in the paperwork. Oh, that's a fancy LED. Uh, I'll show you the close ones as well. The close shots, fancy ones, just like this. But we're gonna go with that. Oh, we have a dial with this one. We need to check this out. This looks good. Oh, no. Did I broke it already? No, 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 no. <laughs> no didn't. <laughs> this is how it's supposed to be. Oh, very tactile. I like that. How does this work? Oh, Type-C, Type-C. I love Type-C. Whenever you actually go with the Type-C, that's the way how you should be. All right, you have a Type-C and a USB. Who uses USB these days? Everybody is on Type-C. All right. Oh, this one I need to inject in my computer. I'll test it out. Let me test it first. All right, plugged it in into my Mac Studio and let's test it out. How does that work? Oh, it, it's bright. It's too bright. Didn't expect it this much. What does the dial do? Oh, it's a dial. Nice. Oh, there are even effects on this one. I like this. <laughs> this is fancy. I'll be playing it around. Definitely, this is something that you should be putting up on your screen. But you know, we're not going to do that always. We'll be using it for some things else as well. Maybe outside on a Diwali. What's the plan? Who knows? Anyways, let's keep it aside and try to open the main ingredient, which is the box. All right, time to open up this box and I'm a little scared that it's too big, man. How alone I'm going to do this? One thing I can say that you don't need fancy cutters and fancy knives. 
this one does the job. Our mom is has been using this for so long. It it just works. Oh, I'll give you that. Unboxing is not an easy thing. I don't know how these people do all these unboxing, or probably they hide a lot of things behind the scene. But it's not easy, man. Uh, I just ripped off this box. I literally just ripped off this one. All right. I'm pretty sure that's what this is, the stand. There's no need to get too much excited about this. This is just a stand. The base is heavy, which it should be. That's the important thing. Otherwise, how it will keep it. All right, that's a heavy one. Let's keep it on the Mac Studio. Hold it for me, Mac. Yeah, that's how unboxing is done. In the real world, that's why we call it as raw videos. All right, after a lot of mess, we can see that this is here and trust me, this is heavy. All right, hey, here am I, and you can see this is all done. One of the reasons why I was super excited about this is because of this. Yeah, this is one thing. All right, keeping it aside, I think this is something which I'm super excited, and I'll be definitely taking advantage of this one. Imagine the amount of vertical format videos, the shorts and the reel that I can design, keeping myself somewhere here and the entire thing for just the coding tutorial. That could be a really new experiment to do. And along with this, obviously, we'll get a, a power cable, which goes into power. There's no surprise. An HDMI cable, who uses HDMI these days? Uh, this is what I like about this. This is Type-C cable and not any ordinary Type-C cable. What this allows you actually is to draw power directly from this screen and you can connect your MacBook or any device which actually consumes power from Type-C. I won't be taking advantage of this one because I use a Mac Studio, which is even much more powerful machine. It requires its own socket, but still, this vertical format will definitely having an advantage of this one. We'll be taking care of this one. And this is a pretty big screen. I, I can actually just work along with this one screen. I don't need two screen. Hopefully, uh, I'll definitely be using this one. How far we have come into the innovation of technology. Vertical screens from mobile phones to this vertical screen. Oh man, can't wait to just explore this one. Let's go ahead and try this out. Right, so this is the screen that we have. You can turn it on from here. So all the controls are actually available to you here. So just turn it off, turn it on, just like that. There we go. One thing that I like about it is you can actually enable the modes from here. So if I just check it out, you just have to press this one up here and you get this one. So notice here, there's a coding mode, standard mode, user mode, e-paper mode, very light. This one, I like it a lot, e-paper. There's a gaming mode with brightness and everything, movie, mbook, and care mode, coding mode. So we'll be using coding mode and see that how it works and performs in the coding mode. Oh my God, the difference is actually very noticeable. And this light actually works. You don't see it directly when you're actually watching the video, but I see the difference. There is a there is not so much strain. You'll notice eventually after working just within half an hour that this light, this light actually is important. And I've checked it out into the coding mode and you can see the brightness and everything is there. So let's just change the mode of it. And you'll see that there is a coding mode and we can change it to standard, a user, uh, like this e-paper. But nobody would like to watch the video in this one, but hey, this is e-paper. All right, quick question. Do you really want that I should make some videos in this e-paper mode? Maybe just the videos where I code, no audio, nothing like that. Just comment in the comment section and I'll, I'll get to know. Game too bright for me, movie. And notice here, in the game mode, my screen is actually bluish, which is the color which I set up while my changing my VS Code setting. But if I go ahead and change it to the coding mode, it actually turns it into black. So it actually changes and play around with my color. It's not like a gimmick. It actually works and changes that. I know that because I have set up this VS Code theme into a bluish tone. It changes it into a black tone and which actually makes all of my code vibrant and easily readable. I like this. This is how it looks like. Very vibrant, very noticeable. I think this will look cool in the upcoming videos. I really like this light bar as well. And there is a controller here as well. And this one is to power it on. This one is to change the mode. This one is for intensity. You want it too bright. You want it okay bright. 
and if you press it one more time it just changed the mode and you can check it that i wanted blue i wanted yellow tint i wanted blue tint it's very tactile i like it all right so it's almost been a week that we have been using the screen and whenever you first time get the gadget especially me uh, whether i buy it or somebody sends me out i'm pretty excited about it at that time but eventually i start using it from the real perspective that will i be using it in the longer context or not and it's been almost a week that me and the entire team have been using it now i really appreciate that how the benq colors and how the screen came out and in the longer run, I really liked it. And again, we don't need to say it out loud because a lot of companies do send us the stuff. Sometimes we don't even put them in front of the camera. We return them back and sometimes we just love the product so much that we order a lot more pieces uh, from our own money. So this is the case with the BenQ as well. Uh, we have been using the BenQ projectors even before they reached out to us. So it's a fairly good company. We trusted it already. And this is the screen which we'll be placing more orders from our own money because we liked it so much. First, I tested it out on the coding environment. I tried the vertical ones as well. It's good for the personal coding perspective. It's not really great for the content creation purpose. So when I'm actually writing the code, especially the front end part of it, I would love to see a lot more content on just one screen. And sometimes I try to use it at the bottom section, I'm writing the code at the top section, there is a page that is rendering. So it helped me a lot in building my Next.js uh, videos and the courses as well. And I li really like the coding mode into it. It's a little bit more onto the black side and a little bit saturation side, so I enjoyed it. After that, I actually uh, gave out this screen to my designer as well as the video editor. And what the feedback came in is the true colors of it. The colors are almost like 99% matched uh, with the Apple as well. Not really, Apple is obviously way more ahead of that. But they say that I couldn't tell the difference between the display uh, which is there and the new, the BenQ one. So they were also happy that the color correction in the videos as well as the color science in while they're designing the graphics and all of that. So they also enjoyed it so much so that they said, hey, it's a good size of the screen and we really want to have it. So yes, we'll be placing the order two more screens uh, for our own team. And that's really I like about the product that you trust the product so much that you openly send it out uh, without any uh, forceful meant that, hey, you have to make a review, you have to say good words. And when I'm actually investing my own money in those gadgets, I think this proves the point that yes, it is worthy. Uh, it's really nice product, but again, all I say is, if you are building on your own PC, this is a worth screen taking into your uh, add to cart list. Do go ahead and do compare. That's always the great idea. I personally enjoyed it, so that's why I ordered it two more pieces of it. If you think that the word is enough to buy that, go ahead buy that. Otherwise, don't buy it. There is no forceful meant of in this one. Uh, but I enjoyed the unboxing experience and making this kind of a video. I have never done that. So this was a great experience. I'm looking forward to do more such kind of a fun videos where we do either buy the stuff or somebody sends us out and we'll be doing more of the unboxing and kind of a stuff. So on a whole, uh, I would say that, hey, it's definitely worth it. And the tilting mode, I like it. And again, this is really a coding specialty screen. The colors are accurate and we love BenQ. <laughs> we, we like the product so much. So that's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed this one very rare kind of a video that we do on this channel, but we enjoyed it so much. Uh, so link will be in the description section, obviously, in case you want to buy it. And uh, thank you so much, BenQ, again, for uh, giving us this experience, a unique experience that we enjoyed so much, the entire team. And uh, thank you so much for making a good product as well. Thank you. Bye-bye.